Hello, Roll folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of Roll News and Analysis. So, before we start, let's make sure to hit that subscribe button and also press the bell icon. Thanks. The evolution of Sophie's style has been fascinating. With short blonde hair, she was initially compared somewhat improbably to Diana when she arrived in the Raw family's orbit, a more accessible girl next door version of the Spencer aristocrat, but it was never a convincing analogy. She was never sufficiently interested in fashion or celebrity, and her emphasis was on getting the job done, her practical PR instincts proving hard to break. But inside the firm, as the royal family refers to itself, she was a godsend. For all her vaunted middle-class background, Sophie exuded a calmness and work ethic which chimed exactly with Elizabeth II's instincts, and they quickly became close. She also forged a warm relationship with Prince Philip, not always an easy task. As the monarchy enters a new phase under a new king, Sophie has a new title. In March, Prince Edward was given his father's old style of Duke of Edinburgh. The newly minted Duchess is now one of the stalwarts of the royal family's public role. Last year, she carried out 138 engagements, more than the Prince and Princess of Wales or Queen Camilla. She is Colonel-in-Chief of Queen Alexandra's Royal Army Nursing Corps, the Royal Corps of Army Music and the Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers, the President of Girl Guiding UK and patron of more than 70 charities. In a brilliant publicity move for the Royal Family, as Grand President of St. John's Ambulance, she volunteered at an NHS vaccination centre during the COVID-19 pandemic. And she has taken particular interest in women's rights, from women in business through reproductive health to sexual violence in conflict zones. The royal family needs the Duchess of Edinburgh. The king wants a slimmer, more efficient team of working royals, and Prince Andrew and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been taken out in the equation. It seems preposterous, but the firm is looking understaffed. At 58, Sophie has decades of service ahead of her. For example, the late Queen's cousin, Princess Alexandra, is still undertaking official duties at 86, while the Duke of Gloucester, 78, is a full-time working royal. Sophie once told the Telegraph, I'm no good at sitting still and doing nothing. That may be as well as it is not an option. The middle-class professional woman who was such a departure as a royal bride has, over a matter of decades, become the epitome of what the firm wants and needs to be, a dutiful, dedicated, hard-working and likeable public servant. So, what do you guys think about the news? Please let us know in the comments and we'll see you again soon for more Royal News and Analysis. Bye for now.